time for nine at nine. All right, here's the nine at nine. Hide the children and the grannies. The 19th century's most scandalous painting is coming to New York. Are you ready to see yeah. it? Yeah. All right, here it is. This is Olympia. Oh, mercy. By the French Impressionist Edward Manet. And mm. when it was unveiled at a salon in 1865, it was a scandal. I ah. bet, yeah. First of all, because it shows a scene of a prostitute waiting for oh. her client with a maid beside her. The scandalous part is that the prostitute looked bored. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That marked a real break from the grandeur that people expected from yeah. art. Yeah. And second of all, most of the people thought it sucked. One critic said her face is stupid. Uh, yeah. Others wondered why that dumb cat is over on the yeah. far right. It hangs in the Musée du Dorsay in Paris and has Ooh. left there only three times in 160 <laughs> years. Wow. On September 24th, it'll be in New York, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, until early January. The painting is now praised for how it boldly broke from tradition. But yeah. as, if you, as you've seen it here, you no longer have to go to New York. Yeah. 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 Art. All righty. Huh. Are we gonna get gonna fired for something. that? I, I I feel like uh, we could. Ah, there were no nips. It's fine. <laughs> it's art. It's art. art. Art's complicated. No yeah. nipples. We're yeah. all good. <laughs> huh? Can you say nipples? Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you can, can, can say nipples. nipples right? yeah. He went through all that yeah. trouble. You would have thought he would have. Yeah. Two more throw, little things, Dad. Yeah. And he was like, ah, two I'm little dots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't paint anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. All right, number eight. If it's cute, we'll put it on TV. And nothing is cuter than the Jelly Cat Diner. They recently opened one Aww. inside the FAO Schwartz Toy Store in New York. Mm -mm -mm. The place is wall to wall with pretzels, hot dogs, burgers, fries, popcorn, and fruit. <laughs> Only they're all in the form of the little adorable little plushies. Oh, those are fun. The best part is when you check out, they wrap your purchase in the same paper the same way they would at a fast food restaurant. Oh. Isn't that glorious? Oh, yeah. For 45 bucks, you get a food of your choice, an enamel pin, mm. a sticker sheet, plus all the adorable mm -hmm. little packaging. Uh, that? You can't yeah. make it to New York. New York chances are uh, these uh, diners will be popping up across the country. All right. And they're also all available online. Wow. Isn't that, that yeah. fun? That way we can all get dust mites in our house yeah. and trigger our asthma. Woo, look at that. Is that a what radish? What are you seeing the negative, Larry? Oh. I mean, that's whimsical and joyful. And Paul, you're just seeing Larry gave his kids I'm blocks you, when they were babies. Jeez. You don't need any of that junk in Paul your house. Paul does not want any plush crap no, in his house. Not anymore. <sighs> Here's a stick. Play with this. <laughs> it doesn't collect dust. Uh, number seven, Paul is a fan of head cheese. Oh, yeah. Because he's a lunatic. Uh, but what about uh, German hand cheese, Paul? Uh, In Germany, they call it, and say it with me now, Han Kaza. Yeah. This sour milk cheese is a culinary delight in mm. Frankfurt, usually served with sliced onions and caraway seeds. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, uh. caraway seeds. Uh, yeah. Uh, it gets the name hand cheese because it's formed by hand into a kind of square shape. Mm. Here's a fun little game to play when you have Han Kaza yeah. at a restaurant. You ask your dining companions, where is the music? And they should answer, the music comes later. That's a little inside cheese joke that yeah. the cheese and the onions are going to make you flatulent. Uh, That's fun. That's what I wow. call a Teutonic toot. Uh, but those That's Germans, a great story. they're hilarious. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, All right, number six, the J.C. Penny microwave cookbook was a bestseller in the 1980s. Microwaves were a really big deal then. We didn't have air fryers or Instapots, and micro microwaves are relatively new. Lucky for us, the cookbook is still available right. online. It's got lots of 80s-style recipes for roast beef. You can make a rack of lamb in the microwave. Did oh, you know yeah. that? Oh, how, about, how about Italian fish bait? Oh, That's the best. Oh, yeah. And luau poultry. Keep in mind, microwave microwaves are much bigger then, so if you want to make this stuff, you might need to look for a really big microwave. Or just cram it in there. Yeah. We don't fit enough in the microwave these uh, the days. The cookbook does have a few things that'll make you laugh, like this little gem inside the cover. Welcome to the most versatile system of food preparation ever devised by man. Think about mm. it. Ah. Mm -mm. Number five, everyone knows that song, Tainted Love. The group Soft Cell had a hit with it in 1981, but did you know the original version was from 1964 by Gloria Jones? Let's huh. listen. Sometimes I feel I've got to run away. I've got 
Now this isn't the original. No, this is changed. This is this the is 80s. Soft cell. Yeah. Okay. So the original is here. Oh yeah. Still pretty solid version. Awesome. Yeah, very yeah. good. Very I good. like this one better. The song was written by Ed Cobb. Jones was a Motown artist who had success singing with uh, lots of artists at that time. I like that one better. Yeah, it, I do too. Hmm. Uh, number four, having trouble in the romance department. According to a recent survey from Hinge, it's not them, it's you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and to get even more specific, yeah. it's your phone. Nearly 80% of Hinge users believe their date isn't interested in them if they're on their phone That's during true. a date. Uh, that well, is true. But you don't need... just stay off the phone. You got to take it off the table. That's right. And you got to put it away. That's right. Uh, and we're still talking about the phone. Dating experts say when your phone is visible, the quality of the conversation goes down. Sure. People worry that it will go off or buzz and interrupt them mid-conversation. Mm. So no. You don't need to pull it out and show them a funny video or a <laughs> meme. Right. You don't need to Google anything. Right. If you need your phone to look at a restaurant or bar's QR code, pull it out, make your selections, put it away. Your phone is the number one thing that's keeping you from a second date. Wow. That tends to be wow. your face wow. and your personality. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. The face is usually the first yeah. thing. It's not it. always the phone. Yeah. Yeah. The phone's I can get past a phone right. if... Yeah, you know, there's a good-looking face, but yeah. that face is, yeah. wow. It's in the maybe number eight or nine, not right. number one. Finances also. You guys there, act right? like you're all Adonis's, well, you know yeah. what I mean? What if someone sees you faces, and they don't want to date you exactly. again? Exactly, faces are all subjective. I could have a very unappealing right. face to somebody else. That's what I'm saying. That's the yeah. first thing you're yeah. noticing. Some people yeah. have bad taste. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah. number three, take a second and go ahead and rate yourself. Are you a four? Mm. Are you a six? A solid 10, like Pat and I. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out most people overestimate yes, their attractiveness, very true. especially the unattractive people <laughs> out there. This is according to a new study from some very judgy beauty scientists. But here's where it gets a little tricky. How do we know these scientists know these people are unattractive? Yeah. Beauty is subjective, yeah, it's right. all in the eye of the beholder. Said. Do these judgy beauty scientists set out to find a bunch of ugly people and then ask them about their looks? The whole study's a little sus if you ask me. But if you are interested, you can read more about it in the Scandinavian Journal of Psychology. This is very true though. I mean, it's like you gotta know what level here? You know, you're, le and yeah. then it's like sometimes when you try and level jump, it, it, you know, it's right. you're not. Right. You gotta yeah. know. But I know a lot of people who are nine tens who look in the mirror and they think they're two threes. Ah, yeah. that's true. Right? But a lot of it is context, like. Roger is like a six, but for a floor director, <laughs> yeah, floor he's a director, yeah. he's like a nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Am I wrong? Right? It is than a six. He is an eight for sure. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, it's he's a, an eight. He's an eight. Oh, he's come a here, good looking kid. Show he's great. Right. Yeah, come on, Roger. You're at he least an like like Twitter poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a eight, eight, yes or no. Yes. Text us on the text line. Let us know whether you would put Roger <laughs> at a six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. We'll yeah. tally up the numbers. Yeah. There's not enough the judging people for their looks yeah. these days. Yeah. We need to bring it back. Those were the best things in life. When you and I both got evaluated by that agent. Yeah. And they both, they, they responded to both Paul and I like, yeah. <laughs> I've never, I took a job. We don't in, want to represent you. You're really not attractive yeah, enough. You have great personalities. Yeah. 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 I took a job in Tampa and the news director says, well, you're moderately attractive. You seem like you can. I'm like, I'm moderately attractive. I'm looking at him. I'm like, what do you do? Where are you, where are you on this scale? The good thing moderately is you both have brains to fall back on. Oh, wait, Larry, that's right. They don't know that either. Remember the wonder lick test? The wonder yeah. lick test. We didn't fail it. We just, it, that's a bad it test. It was a bad test. Yeah. And then four <laughs> the test. Test. Which is wow. bad test Along takers. with the that's ACT, all. the GR, all those all. tests are rigged. Yeah. The driver's license the test. smartest of us. I pass the blood test every time. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Uh, All right, number two. There's still some great weather for camping, especially further uh, south. So here are sure a few yeah, simple tips go. to help determine if a snake is poisonous or not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Look at these current yes. <laughs> drawings that we have. 
First off, venomous snakes tend to have elliptical shaped eyes. Uh, okay. yeah, right. So it's if you have binoculars when the snake yeah. is coming up to get you, you can take a look. Maybe oh. record it while it bites you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like cat eyes. Those sure. are the poisonous yeah. ones. Harmless snakes generally have rounder oh, eyes. This is Next, good. a fat and triangular shaped head yes. is a good indication the snake is poisonous. Oh, if the boy. snake is really thin, it's almost certainly harmless. All For right. water snakes, if you see it swimming with just its head yeah. above water, it's okay. Good. All right. But water moccasins or cottonmouth snakes swim with their whole uh, body on the top whoa. of the water. That's frightening. And you'll need to go to the hospital right if they away. bite you. All right. There are none of these in Wisconsin. They would only be in the far southern sections of really? Illinois. All right. And last, if you hear any kind of rattle <laughs> at, no at all, you right. can run. Right. But I don't know if you're going to outrun yeah. that snake. Yeah. Well, it's going to be fun just to see you running. Is that where you play dead like you do with the bears, with you, with the snake? That doesn't do you any good, I right? you get so. big with the snakes yeah. Yeah. and yell at them. And then they typically turn around and take off. Oh, Number yeah. one, Monkey Week continues. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't know we had yes. that. Yeah, we're on day four. But we're not sure that you are really ready for this monkey. We hope we don't blow too many minds with the golden langur. These are in India and Bhutan, and the Western world didn't even know about them until the 50s. All right. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. Here it is. <gasps> oh, come on. That monkey is breathtaking. That's awesome. Oh, my God. It looks human. It looks like David Bowie a little bit. Yeah, wow. It does. Am I wrong? No. That is a human face, almost. Oh. oh man. The video is by oh. Joel Sartori oh. for the National Geographic. Oh, oh man, I want to see a full body that. shot. I want to see, see what they do. And the fact that this monkey let this camera guy get up this close. Yeah. Uh, well, he he arranged the shoot. <laughs> Doesn't look like the hear. most fun of monkeys, though. He does wow. look like a bit of a drip, doesn't yeah. he? <laughs> I don't see him slinging right. his poo at He's visitors at the there. zoo. Now, those are the fun ones. <laughs> this is why we never heard about them, because they're not entertaining now. Yeah, he's now. speak up a little bit. <laughs> Nobody wants to put this guy on the blows our no. show. Uh -uh. Put him on the back of a goat. I saw a great monkey video this morning. Oh, yeah? At some zoo enclosure, some orangutan was in his enclosure, and the possum, did you see that? No. no. Some possum evaded, this orangutan threw the possum. Oh, no, I saw it. It's terrible. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, what's one less possum? Oh. It's quite a show, though, by this monkey. Someone oh. sent me a video of a monkey riding the back of a deer. I saw that, too. <laughs> that, and it got a little odd there for a little bit, because I'm like, oh, where's see? this thing going? This is how it all starts. And the animal the kingdom starts to plot up. against yeah. us. Uh, they start cooperating. We're screwed. You sent me that one? Yeah. I will say yeah, that. Was, that was quite a I nine at nine. That was very good. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.